to my channel. Today we're going to the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. The Waitangi Treaty Grounds are where the Treaty of Waitangi was signed by the Māori Chiefs and the British Crown on the 6th of February 1840. It is our country's most important historic site. Te Kōnahu, the Museum of Waitangi, tells the story of the Treaty of Waitangi from multiple perspectives through historical moments. The treaty has three articles. Governance rights to the Crown. Māori retained full chieftainship over land, villages and all their treasures. And Māori received full rights and protections as British subjects. Somebody do something about that man! Mono Paul! The treaty was bilingual with the Māori version translated from the English. As the Māori language didn't have equivalent words for all the English at that time, the text is not an exact translation. These differences created disagreements eventually contributing to the New Zealand Wars of 1845 to 1872 and have continued to this day with the Treaty of Waitangi Settlements starting in the early 1990s. Walking through the native forest and gardens, you can hear the sound of our many native birds. Matu Faroa is the world's largest ceremonial war canoe. Five meters long, it weighs six tons when dry and twelve tons when in water, and it needs at least seventy six people to row it. Te Reo Aruha is the war museum, which acknowledges the sacrifice made by Māori serving their country during times of war. There is a memorial wall with the names and faces of thousands of Māori who died during war, which we won't show. When you leave the memorial, you dip your fingers in water and sprinkle it over your head and body to remove the tapu associated with the dead. The Treaty House was the home for James Busby. 
the official representative of the British government in New Zealand. The first flag for the nation was chosen here in 1834. The 1835 Declaration of Independence was drafted in the House and the Treaty of Waitangi was given its final touches here. In Māori culture, meeting houses are seen as the embodiment of a tribal ancestor. Te whare runanga is different as it represents not one ancestor, but the unity of Māori throughout New Zealand. styles from many iwi across the country have been brought together in a beautiful showcase of Māori art. When we first went in, um, I got an activity sheet and I got all the answers right, so I got a prize pack. I hope you enjoyed coming to Waitangi with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that notification button. Ofalahiatu, tofa soifua.